What is a steering system? It is found that the perfect handling of a car makes your journey safe and overwhelming. This is why steering is introduced in the automobile industry. The smoother touch of the wheel must be directly applied to the steering system in order to make it more effortless and precise. Other than this, suspension also plays a very vital role in the automobile industry. It takes a very high-quality steering system and steering parts to achieve excellent handling. The function of a steering system. Once the rotation of the steering wheel takes place, the vehicle responds to this system. A steering system is responsible for giving a quite smooth route, which includes a group of parts referred to as the steering system, which transmits the movement of the steering wheel down the steering shaft in order to move the wheel either left or right. Popular Rack and Pinion Steering Systems Most of the cars and SUVs on today's roads have a rack and pinion steering system. This system is responsible for converting the rotational motion of the steering wheel into a linear motion that turns the wheels and guides the path. This system involves a circular gear that locks the teeth on a bar. This transforms the big rotations of the steering wheel into small, accurate turns of the wheels, which gives a solid and direct feel to the steering. Effects of power steering at the rack and pinion. The latest cars and trucks are found to have a power steering system function, which is also referred to as power-assisted steering. This is used to give the extra energy in order to help in turning the wheels and means parking, which requires quite less effort as compared to simple manual force. In comparison to power steering, the rack and pinion steering system is quite different as it adds an engine-driven pump or electric motor to aid the steering assembly. The system helps in having a higher gear steering, which means that you have to turn the steering wheel with less in order to turn the wheels further. Therefore, it has a sharpened up response time, which makes the steering even more precise. In such busy roads and traffic jams, drivers can more safely maneuver in close proximity to other vehicles. Keeping tight control at varying speeds, in any condition, in critical situations helps to avoid accidents. Components of steering system in car all the racks and pinions are one of the most essential parts that are mostly constructed by Moog and also include the axial rods, tie rod ends, drag links, and wheel end bearings. These are the steering parts, which are robust and hard-wearing enough to provide both strength and durability. Selecting parts that meet the specifications of a manufacturer means that the whole assembly will be responsive as well as long-lasting. 1. Return of four-wheel steering. Under the swivel of the front wheels, there is a steering system in some cars that affects all four. This has been exclusively found in sporty and luxury models, where there is an increasing trend towards the feature in more affordable cars. A four-wheel steering control unit is set up behind the rear axle of the car, which affects the rear wheels as per the requirement. The wheels of the car are found turning in an opposite direction at a comparatively lower speed, whereas turning all four wheels in concert helps in maintaining stability and prevents fishtailing. Having a technical four-wheel steering refers to better handling, as the steering is monitored only in emergency situations wherein the car is found to be reacting with the optimum response. This type of steering system appears in brands like Renault's, Honda, Nissan, Mazda, etc. in order to give new drivers new heights of drivability and responsiveness and keep us safer on the roads. 2. Steering Box At the bottom of the steering column, there is a worm gear that fits inside the box. A worm is a threaded cylinder that is similar to a short bolt that turns a bolt that holds a nut on it. After this, the nut is found moving along the bolt. Similarly, turning the worm moves anything that is fitted inside its thread. Power Assisted Steering In the case of a heavy car, either the steering is too heavy or it is inconveniently geared low, so that the steering wheel can require many turns from locks to locks. Heavy gearing can sometimes be quite troublesome while parking in confined spaces, whereas the Power Assisted Steering System can overcome such problems. The engine drives the pump, which supplies the oil under very high pressure to the rack or the steering box. The valves in the steering rack or box get opened whenever the driver turns the wheel, which allows the oil to enter the cylinder. The oil works as a piston, which helps push the steering in the required direction. Once the driver stops turning the wheel, the valve gets closed, 
and the pushing action of the piston gets stopped. The power is helpful in assisting the steering and the wheel, which are still linked to the road wheels in the usual way. Working of steering system. Once the steering wheel is rotated, the shaft attached to it also rotates along with it. This results in rotating the pinion, which is placed on the top of the rack. The rotation of the pinion lets the rack move linearly while also moving the tie rod. Once the tie rod is connected to the steering arm, it lets the wheel turn. The size of the pinion is responsible and has an effect on its turning. If the pinion is large, it means that you will get more turns from less steering wheel rotation, which makes it harder to control. Whereas, on the other hand, a small pinion refers to that, which means that it will be easier to control what is required to multiple the steering wheel that turns to make the car corner. This is how the rack and pinion system works efficiently. However, it is a quite simple device that can be used multiple times, and as an advanced system, that can make it even better to use. Recirculating Ball Steering System This system is known by multiple names, like Worm and Sector and Recirculating Ball and Nut. This steering system is most commonly found in old cars and heavy-duty vehicles like trucks. This is quite different from a rack and pinion. Construction of Steering System The ball steering system, which recirculates, has two different gears, one is the worm gear, and the other is the sector gear. The steering wheel is connected via a shaft that is threaded and is then connected to the block. The worm gear is the one that is quite big and undergoes the block, which is threaded in such a way that it allows the worm gear inside. This block has gear teeth on the outer side, which are connected to the sector gear. The sector gear is kept connected to the pitman arm, which is further attached to the tie rod. The work is also quite simple, like a rack and pinion. Power steering system. The power steering is added along with some more parts and components to the rack and pinion system, which makes it simpler and easier to use. In most cases, the pump, pressure tubes, rotary control valve, fluid lines, and hydraulic piston are the common parts of a power steering system. The main work of the pump is to pump the fluid around the place where it is required. The rotary control valve is the valve that ensures that the movement of fluid is only performed once the driver is actually steering the car. The hydraulic piston keeps moving, depending on the fluid line that brings the high-pressure fluid. This movement of the piston on the rack makes it easier for the driver, as it usually applies the force that is necessary to steer the car. Speed-sensitive steering A power steering system is commonly referred to as speed-sensitive steering, wherein the steering is heavily assisted at a very low speed and is assisted lightly in the case of a high speed. The automakers have the conception that there should be a need to make large steering inputs while maneuvering for parking, whereas it is not mandatory in cases where the travel speed is high. The latest speed-sensitive power steering systems are responsible for reducing mechanical or electrical assistance as the speed of the vehicle increases, which gives it a more direct feel. This is the reason why this feature is gradually becoming more common these days. Parts of steering system 1. General system function In a contemporary power steering system, the pump is used to provide power steering fluid under pressure to the rack and the pinion unit. Whenever the driver provides steering input by turning the steering wheel, the power steering control valve applies fluid pressure to one side of a piston, which helps the driver turn the wheel. 2. Power steering pump. The power steering pump is used to turn the accessory drive belt or serpentine belt in order to develop the fluid pressure on the higher side of the power steering hose so that the input side of the power steering can control the valve. 3. Steering coupler. It is referred to as a mechanism that allows the steering wheel to rotate without binding up with the column because the input shaft and the steering column are not found to be in perfect alignment but instead are at a slight angle to each other. 4. Tie rod ends. This is a component that is attached to the steering rack's end, where the steering knuckles are, and allows the motion of the rack to be translated into turning the movement of the front wheels. 
these are the parts that rotate horizontally for steering the input translation and the pivot vertically as well as diagonally once the vehicle encounters roughness in the road and the wheels get bounced. 5. Power Steering Hoses It is important to know that there are two main power steering hoses, one on the high side and the other on the lower side. Both hoses are found to be attached to the rack and pinion with the help of a threaded brass fitting. The high side hose is attached to the power steering pump using a threaded brass fitting, whereas the low side hose slides are a small pipe that is securely placed with a hose clamp. The high side hose carries a power steering fluid under the pressure of the rack, which is provided with power assistance to the steering inputs, whereas the lower side hose is responsible for carrying a low pressure fluid back to the pump. Types of steering system There are three types of steering systems, which are as follows. 1. Bicycle steering These types of steering systems are rarely fixed, whereas the front wheel is steered. It is essential to install these for safe turning, and so the two wheels must roll around a point. 2. Turntable steering or center pivot steering Once the front wheels are turned, then the whole front axle is turned about the central pivot. In this case, the perpendicular of all the wheels meets at a particular point during the turning. Therefore, the turning is safe, and the wheels roll quite freely. 3. Ackerman steering or side pivot steering Mostly, the front axle is pivoted on either side of the axle, as the wheels are mounted on the stub axles. This is why the stub axles are turned by the steering arms and are connected to the tie rod.